Does the barbecue create the most heat in your house? I like watching you eat ribs. Do you prefer a steamy cup of coffee to a steamy night of romance? Superstar nutritionist Jillian McKeith is on a mission to help this woman get her groove back. I don't feel sexy. I feel gross, huge, overweight. You're breathing quite heavily already. <sighs> You've yes. jumped a few times. But in this war of fattening versus fresh, have some yum yum bacon. Mm. Who will prevail? Hey, where are your vegetables? Is this supposed to be a radish? Are you taking diet pills? When you're a busy wife and mother, it's not surprising that diet and exercise fall by the wayside. And as for feeling sexy, forget about it. Denise always puts herself last, and I'm here to change all that. Diet disaster Denise is overweight and overwhelmed. Don't forget your lunch. This pudgy parent is a mom of four and has been with childhood sweetheart Rodney for nearly 20 years. Denise and I met in uh, high school. All the boys took an attraction to her. She was kind of, you know, the pretty girl that everybody wanted. These salad-dodging suburbanites live well and love to eat. Me, it was sweets, and him, it was big steaks. But their bulging bodies were once buff. We owned a couple of uh, gyms. We had the opportunity to buy a, a bar restaurant. We stopped working out because we had to sell our gyms. And then we started eating a lot in the restaurants. That changed our lives completely. You know, you just wake up one day and you look in the mirror and you're like, oh my God, who are these people? It just seemed like we were bigger. Mountains of meat. I like watching you eat ribs. A river of caffeine and her constant snacking on energy spiking sugary junk have left this mom missing her mojo. I wanted to have children young and I wanted to be young and energetic, but you know, I feel old. Oh, thank you. I feel like I'm, you know, over the hill and going down, you know, but I'm only 34. I want back my health um, and energy and I want to be sexy. That's one wish this woman knows how to grant. Nutritionist Jillian McKeith has an eight week plan to transform Denise from dumpy to dishy. Hello. Hi. I'm Jillian. Hi, Denise. Hi. This is your kitchen, Denise. I hope she doesn't come in here and start yelling at me. Oh, Denise. <laughs> So you eat lots of meat? Yes, protein. It's like a whole farm in this Pork. fridge. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Yeah. <coughs> oh, goodness. You love your yeah. ribs, don't mm. you? Yeah. They must eat meat till it's coming out of their ears at the expense of vegetables. And where are your vegetables? Hmm. Usually frozen or... Okay, I don't see any vegetables. Oh, wait. French fries. I guess that is a no. vegetable in a sense. Yeah. So <laughs> potatoes. Gosh, I'm worried that your kids won't know what a carrot really looks like. Well, hearing some of the things that Jillian had to say wasn't a pleasant experience, that's for sure. Do vegetables only come in cans? No, they come frozen too. I saw that. Are you a gym owner? You were a personal trainer. This is a seriously fit kind of life. Uh, I think it's just a matter of, you know, when you slide a little bit, you just... Oh, you're a coffee fiend. <gasps> yeah. Denise is eating a rubbish diet. She must feel terrible and sexy. Forget about it. Right, Denise, do you want to see what all this adds up to? Yes. Right, stand aside then. Denise eats a shocking 3,000 calories of fried, processed and fatty food every day. It's disgusting. How could you, of all people, eat this? You must be gassy. Yeah. Denise, humor me. What is this? It's Chinese food. It looks disgusting. Do you know what went into that sauce recipe? No idea. So why would you eat something you don't know what you're eating? It's a real eye opener that you're like, oh my goodness, I'm putting this into my body. If you're going to do the crime, you're going to have to do the time. To burn off those 3,000 calories of rubbish, you're going to have to skip for three hours. Oh, there's no way. <laughs> Come on, you can do it, Denise. You've only got two hours and 58 minutes to go. I'm way out of shape. Ah. I think she would have dropped dead if I'd asked her to skip a bit more. Hi, right, Denise. You know what this is. If Denise wants sexy back, she has to chuck the junk out. Fries. That was your one vegetable. Coffee. My cream. Do you need your cream? 
I like my cream on the coffee. But you're not having any coffee. No. Didn't I tell you that? No, you didn't. Coffee. It'll be the hardest to give up. Are we done? Yep. Press it down. Are you ready? You're letting go. I'm ready to make a change. Denise's desperate diet is sapping her energy and dampening her desires. I've got eight weeks to turn her around. But before I can start, I need to get her back to my clinic to see exactly how dire things have gotten. Denise, there's the mirror. You're in it. What do you think? Gross. Gross? Yes. Denise is a very unhealthy woman. She's only 34. I've got to get her feeling vital and attractive again. I was nervous, you know, uh, to be assessed. On the count of three, one, two, three, just throw it off. At 208 pounds, 34-year-old Denise is clinically obese. She suffers from chronic constipation and very low energy. Okay, I would like to look at your tongue because we can see from the tongue what might be going on inside the body. Classic. There's a lot of congestion at the back. There's like these lumpy parts and really yucky, disgusting, yucky coating at the back there. There's a lot going on with your bowels, or not going on. So how often? Uh, probably once every couple days or so. That is seriously not the way you should be living. I want Denise's bowels to move twice a day, and I've got a plan to help her do that. Denise wants to change, but she needs help, and lots of it. If she has any chance of succeeding on my plan, I need her husband Rodney to play his part. They got fat together, they can get healthy together. Here's the problem, she needs support to succeed at this. Mm -hmm. And from the looks of you, you could get on board and get some help yourself. Okay, so what I want you to do, and I don't think you're gonna like it. What's that? You're not gonna be eating meat for the next eight weeks. Meat? No, no red meat. In order to support her, I just need you to go along with that. I could do that. I promise I won't eat any red meat. For the next eight weeks? For eight weeks, piece of cake. And no cake either. <laughs> no cake either. <laughs> Now that the beef is just a meaty memory, it's time for Denise to feast her eyes on her future. Isn't this exciting? On the table, I didn't know like what kind of this stuff was. So, you're not gonna be having any red meat for the next eight weeks. And instead, we're gonna go for fish. Okay. Oily fish to get that skin glowing, hair, nails looking great, and keeping your sexual health in good nick. Mmm. Then, you're getting your bowels moving with your broccoli. I like broccoli. You do? Yeah. And it's fresh. And I couldn't find any fresh vegetables in your fridge for love nor money, so I thought it's about time that you got some fresh. OK. OK? Yeah. And then, thinking again of those bowels, because I want them moving twice a day. Uh, OK. <laughs> You're going to be drinking nettle tea instead of your coffee. OK. And the reason I want you drinking nettle tea is a natural diuretic. It's packed with minerals, and it's a naturally occurring source of iron, which means you should have plenty of energy for you know what. <laughs> okay, good. Now, your other problem is you use and rely on caffeine and sweets to get through the day. So cashew nuts are so easy. Wonderful snack to keep your blood sugar levels stable. I'm looking forward to trying out some of the foods. We'll see uh, what, it, what it's like when you eat it. What goes in must come out. In Denise's case, it should come out twice a day. Denise, I just want to make sure that we do everything possible to get those bowels working efficiently. She only moves her bowels once every three days. How could she possibly feel sexy? So, to help things along, I want you to start the day with smoothies. Mm -hmm. But what I'd like you to do is take pumpkin seeds and black sesame seeds and blend them in to the drink. And you'll find the laxative qualities will take effect. I want you to add gentiana, which will help to tonify the digestion. How is it? It's um, yummy. Really? Your face is telling a different story. <laughs> if it's yummy, can you tell your face? <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's not that yummy. All right, talking about poos, come with me, Denise. Time for some potty training, Jillian style. You need a stool for your stool. I need a stool for my stool. You're not going to the bathroom properly. What I want you to do is get on that stool. What are you doing? Say what you want. It's a very odd way to go to the bathroom. You don't go like this. No. It's a face the right way. All right, all right. Now you're in a simulated squatting position. Do you see that? Yes. 
So when you're in the right position, in the squatting position, that allows this little valve called the ileocecal valve in between the small intestine and the large intestine to function properly. When you're just sitting on the toilet dangling away, that valve can't work properly. It kind of gets blown out. This way it can open and close effectively. If uh, she says it works, she says it works. I'll give it a try. Denise isn't just eating. She's also exercising herself sexy. And this former gym bunny is taking a break from pumping iron and trying something new. Exhale, stretch it out. Ooh. How you doing? I'm shaking. Alignment is very important in your Pilates. Ooh. It's tough. It's all abs. <laughs> <laughs> Denise is making room on her full plate for some vegetables. But she's finding that food that doesn't come in a can isn't that convenient. It feels like I'm just always here, either chopping or cleaning. While some people may be sold on the new regime. That's good. I mean, like, it's actually good. <laughs> Others aren't so sure. Eat your broccoli. Eat it. It's not the hound that needs the help. This frozen food fan is still daunted when she's faced with good grub at the grocery store. This is supposed to be a radish. I don't think I've ever seen white asparagus. Is there a difference? I don't know if I'm supposed to cook a beet, the root, <laughs> or if it's something else. Maybe it's a spice. I'll keep looking. She's spending more time shopping and prepping than with her family. We spent four hours in the grocery store and she was still missing about a dozen items. Oh my God, there's so many beans. It's crazy. If it doesn't say the same thing on the label as it does in this book, I don't know what I'm looking for. Ah. Denise is stressed. At times like this, only one thing makes her feel better. You're a coffee fiend. Yeah. I've been having all kinds of withdrawal symptoms, you know, uh, headaches, uh, just not feeling well, uh, you know, tired. A large coffee? I've been trying to do it without having any coffee, but I needed a coffee today. Thank you. I needed a boost. But this isn't the kind of boost Jillian wants Denise to have. The plan isn't easy, and Denise needs to realize she's not in it alone. Hi, Denise, I just uh, want to tell you that you're a spectacular mother. And uh, I know um, this is something that you really want to do, and I'm proud of you, and I know you can. I believe in you, and I believe in our love. That's just something I want you to know. It's, it's great to hear. It's a reminder, and it's a motivator. And whether it's, you know, eight weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks, whatever it takes, um, I have to get my old self back. Motivated by Rodney's pep talk, Denise steps up the plan and dials up the exercise. But with her new whatever-it-takes attitude, she's so driven to shed the pounds that she supplements her daily juice with a dangerous shortcut. Diet pills. I am livid with Denise. There are no quick fixes to what she's done to her body over the years. Diet pills are not the answer. The goal here is to get healthy and the weight will take care of itself. I'm gonna set her straight right now. Well, I heard something that has bothered me immensely. Are you taking diet pills? Well, I was taking them for, you know, because they're supposed to speed up your metabolism and give you more energy. Why? Um, well, I just thought because I had to stop drinking coffee that I would need some extra energy. I have, you know, a ton of things to do in a day and I find it overwhelming. Diet pills are not on my plan. It's a holistic approach. On the kind of foods I want you to eat, you will lose weight and you will have energy. I'm going to show you how to make meals that you can just zip up in under 15 minutes. That would be great. So in under six minutes, we're going to make a minted edamame and pea soup. And under 12 minutes, we're going to make a sweet lentil salad. All right. <laughs> okay, so in the pot behind me, I have got boiling water and miso soup in there. Okay. So here, spring onions, Add chop them in. in. Now put the celery in and give it a stir. Okay. So we're going to let the miso Onions and celery simmer for one minute. Okay. And then you're gonna add the edamames with the peas and they're gonna cook for four minutes. Why don't you taste the edamame? Soybeans, great source of protein actually. And lots of other vitamins and minerals too. You feel satisfied. There's a feeling of satiety after eating edamames. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. I'd like you to add the edamames. Okay. And then the peas. All in. This is now going to simmer for four minutes. All right, now turn off the stove, chuck in all the mint, and then what we're gonna do is take it off of there. We're gonna let it cool, and then we'll blend it when it's cooled down. And so while that's cooling, we're now going to make the main course. Okay. Right, red lentil salad. All right. <laughs> okay, so olive oil in there. Yeah, perfect. Now, chuck in the sweet potatoes. 
Sweet potatoes are a slow-release food into the body, so nice, sustained energy, which you really need. I've never eaten them before, but uh, I tried them oh. on the plan, and I really like them, actually. Great. Right. Now, toss in the red lentils. How much is the this? The whole thing. OK, now, what we're going to do is we're going to put enough water in just to cover this. OK, so chuck it in. Oh, OK. Stop. Yeah. We're going to bring it to the boil. Now, you're just going to leave it, and we're going to let it simmer there until it's ready. 10 minutes. Now, Denise, while the sweet red lentil salad is cooking, we're going to blend the soup. Or rather, you're going to blend the soup. Fine. Good. Perfect. So this is a protein-packed soup. Try it. See what you think. Mm. It's very good. Well, of course it's good. Starter's ready. On this plate in front of us, arugula and flat-leaf parsley. Stir. Now, what I want you to do is serve it on top okay. of the arugula. Lovely. Mm. Do you like it, honestly? Mm -hmm. Now that Denise isn't going to be spending quite as much time in the kitchen, she can put her newfound spare time to good use. Denise isn't just a mother, she's a sexy, dynamic woman who's going to learn some new moves that will be perfect to practice later with her husband. Dance makes you laugh, it makes you fit. And this type of dance can bring out that sexy siren. Brandon is going to teach you how to swing. So I'm thinking over the head, under the legs. Absolutely. So I shall leave you two to get on with it. Come on. All right. Step. Triple step, triple step, rock. All right. Here we go. Rock, step, triple. <laughs> wow, Denise. Rock, step, triple, triple. One more time. It feels good. It's been ages since I went dancing. Triple Look step, at those hips go. Step, rock, step, Who would have thought? Step, triple step, rock, step, and triple step, triple step. <laughs> that was great. Denise, I'm cutting in here. I'm sorry. Hello there. <laughs> Even Jillian can't resist taking a swing. You know, I'm a busy mom and I have to create a lifestyle that I can handle. And today I've had to run around and do all kinds of stuff. And uh, I kind of feel bad, but uh, sometimes chopping for hours in the kitchen is not realistic. I have to get something in. And taking in yeah. means Hi. taking out. Thank you. It's not what's on the plan, but it is a healthy choice instead of, you know, having something bad to eat. She's trying to save time by getting healthy takeout, and she's got no time to waste at the grocery store either. In typical Denise fashion, she's found another shortcut. Now I come prepared. If I don't know what it is, I research it <laughs> and get a picture. Fig. Back at the family home, everyone's getting in the game. Denise is exercising and multitasking with the kids. I'm doing yoga something I can do at home and I can do with the kids. Cole likes to join me. Reach up to the sky. There we go, okay, don't move. Family dinners would make mentor Jillian proud. Meat-loving husband Rodney actually enjoys his greens. No red meat for the next eight weeks. Mm, I like that. I've lost about um, 36, 37 pounds, and I feel amazing. And he's not alone. It looks like all the effort has made Denise a more energetic, yummier mummy. Before I started the plan, I felt heavy physically, emotionally, and uh, now after exercising and eating better, I feel you know more energetic and light and and uh, younger. But after eight weeks of Jillian McKeith's regimen of healthy eating and exercise, has this desperate housewife eaten herself sexy? By following Jillian's eight-week food and exercise program, Denise has lost 25 pounds and a combined 10 inches overall. Look at you! Oh my gosh, I can hardly believe it! The mum of four! Give me a twirl. You're just glowing. I was gobsmacked. She looked fantastic. She looked a lot fitter than when I first met her. What a change. How do you feel? I'm definitely excited. It's good. And all that red meat? So you eat lots of meat? Yes. Oh, goodness. You love your yeah. ribs, don't mm. you? Yeah. I don't miss it. 
It's good. The caffeine? You're a coffee fiend. I like my cream and coffee. But you're not having any coffee. Before I used to drink like four or five cups a day. Now I can't even drink a whole one. I'm just like, oh, this doesn't taste good anymore. Your bowels. What are you doing? This is a very odd way to go to the bathroom. Good. Good, good, we're moving. Yeah. Things are moving. flushing out. Yeah. Oh, thank <laughs> goodness. Good. Do you feel more energized? Do you feel like you're cleaner inside? I feel old. I do, actually. I feel more energetic. And every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, wow, my face, it looks younger. It was really great to see her like that. Denise, <laughs> you look amazing. So your husband, he's waiting for you now. Did you know that? Yes. I think you should go off and see what he has to say. Go on. You look fantastic. Be proud of it. A little nervous. I'm not sure I haven't seen her dressed up in a long time, so I'm just excited to see her. Wow. Ta-da! Wow. She looks really spicy. She looks hot. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting her home. What do you think? I like it a lot. <laughs> what are you doing? Don't make me cry. Oh, thank you. You're beautiful. I think you look gorgeous. Yeah? Yeah, it's beautiful. She's got that sexier kind of sophisticated look and that's something I really appreciate. So, am I sexy? Definitely sexy. Mm. I feel great. I feel um, energetic and young and sexy again. Mm. When I first met Denise, her dismal diet was destroying her health and dimming her mojo. After eight weeks on my plan, this hectic housewife has been turned into a real potty. The proof is there. Denise has eaten herself sexy.